Good morning, guys, or better yet, good afternoon already, my apologies. And welcome to another day in another week of home learning uh, on this April 27th, 2020. Let's go ahead and get started, naming the fact that today well, is Monday. Mondays are rough. It is time for us to get back into the grind and working again. Uh, just as this lady, I don't like to take my tea just like that right off the bat, but I do have my tea with me. Uh, as I always do, to get started on this Monday, all right? So um, let's go ahead and get started with today's do now. Today's do now and this whole week is going to be all about music. So let's talk about that for a bit. Today, what I would like for you to do is to recommend the song that you really like right now. Uh, sometimes, you know, like you hear a song and you really like it and you play it over and over and over again. So whatever song that is for you right now, I would like for you to recommend it to me. I would like some music recommendations as of now. Right now, I really like this song called Feel It Still. Um, and it is by this band called Portugal The Man. It's really cool. If you guys have a chance to listen to it, let me know what you think. But more importantly, go ahead and write down a recommendation for a song in the comment section at the bottom of this video. All right, I would love to hear your recommendations and get some new music. A lot of times the best way to listen to some music is when someone you know tells you to listen to a song, they recommend it personally, and I really appreciate that. So recommend the song that I will listen to, and I'll let you know what I think. All right, so today we're gonna talk about non-electric technology. It's important to talk about that because we tend to think of technology as being tied to electricity. Uh, we tend to think of technology having to do with electricity, with futuristic stuff, with all the cool thing with screens and everything. And you're right. I mean, if we're talking about technology, we're talking about a lot of things. But when we talk about technology, we tend to think about video game consoles. So we get to think about cell phones. We think about smartwatches. We think about flat screen televisions. We think about gaming computers or computers in general and we're thinking about like robots and futuristic stuff we tend to think of technology as just being all these futuristic cool things that are really expensive but are really cool right well the reality is that there's much more to electricity i'm sorry <laughs> there's much more to technology than just electric stuff technology is any advancement that makes our lives easier as we've talked about last week so other technology that is not electronic, but that is, that is very important to our lives includes shovels. You know, people used to need to dig holes with their hands. You know, now we have shovels. That is a piece of technology that is very, very beneficial to us. Cutlery and utensils. These are very, very important because we used to eat food with our hands and that would be very messy. That wouldn't be very sanitary. Uh, I mean, Think about it, like right now we're washing our hands so much because our hands touch everything and there's germs on everything. With cutlery, now it's a little more sanitary to eat, it's easier to eat, and it's not as messy. Um, shoes. Shoes are huge technological advances. People used to not have shoes, you know, the, that would do bad things for your feet, but now we have different types of shoes. We have shoes for when you want to run, shoes for when you want to play soccer, shoes for when you want to play basketball, shoes for when you just want to hang around with your friends, shoes where you're going to go to like a specific wedding or a quince or whatever. We have shoes for every occasion and that used to not be the case. So shoes is an important technology that has advanced very well. Bunch of balloons. This has been my favorite technological invention of the last five years. I love um balloon water balloon wars i i love them so much and um it used to always be a drag to have to you know like open up a little balloon and then tie it and then turn on the water and then tie that little balloon and i'm done with one balloon now with a bunch of balloons you can tie and be done with like 20 balloons 30 in like a minute which is huge back in the day this wasn't a thing but this doesn't use any electricity. It's all just technologically advanced. And finally, of course, the toilet. You know, people used to have a dig a hole and do their business in a hole and then bury it. Now we have an awesome toilet that takes all our waste away from our home into a sewage depository, which is huge. 
So all these technological advances, they don't have anything to do with electricity, but they are very, very important. So let's read a little bit about this technological advances that we were talking about. And remember, we're not just thinking about electricity. We're thinking about everything else um, that may not be electric. So let me bring up the passage. Um, okay. All right, so here's a passage that we're gonna read today. It's called The Technology Zone. Let me make it closer so that we see it better. I'll take off the... All right, hopefully that is very visible to all of us. Go ahead and click pause right now in the video. Uh, I'm sorry, don't click pause yet. We're gonna read a Technology Zone all the way down to here, items. And uh, read it carefully. Take your time. Once you're done reading, you can play, press play again in the video. All right. So go ahead and click pause right now. All right. Thank you for finishing your reading and playing play and coming back to us. So um, when you read this, you realize again that there, not everything has to be with electricity when it comes to technology. For example, a pencil. A pencil is great. You know, like a pencil... It's a technological advance that allows us to write, to erase our mistakes, and to sharpen it and use it over and over again. Back in the day, you had to use the feather of a bird. You had to buy a little thing of ink. You had to dip your feather in the ink and then write, kind of like they do it in Harry Potter. Um, but that was very, very messy because, you know, you'd topple over the ink and ink would be really hard to take off of desks or... You'd have to get a, get a bird feather ever so often. Uh, those were a little more expensive because they're harder to get. You know, people don't go around just plucking the feathers off of birds. So definitely it is a huge technological advancement that doesn't use any electricity. All right. So now that we've read, let's talk about what we are going to do today. So your work for today is this. I want you to observe all of the objects that you have in your home. Many of the things you observe have met a need. As time and technology changes, the way people would meet their needs changes also. What you're gonna do is this. Create a T-chart listing 10 items, then explain how each item meets a need. By meets a need, it means that it helps us do something, right? So let's do this. Your 10 items do not have to involve electricity, or better yet, you cannot use electronic devices as part of your 10 items in your teacher. Does that make sense? So only objects that do not use electricity can be in your teacher. So what is this going to look like? Well, here I made a T-chart, and so I'm gonna put number one, cutlery, which are spoons, forks, and knives. Um, they make eating food easier without getting very messy. So I have my T-chart with object on one side, how does it meet a need on the other side? And then number two, I put bicycle helmet. How does it meet a need? It protects somebody's head when riding a bicycle. Now that's two, I need eight more because I need a total of 10. Notice, does color need electricity? Does bicycle helmets need electricity? No, right, they don't. So all your 10 objects have to be objects that are not electrical. They don't need to plug, be plugged in. They don't need to be charged. They have to be non-electric devices. All right, so if you have any questions, please let me know. Don't hesitate in reaching out to me. Uh, remember 10 of these, the objects, and then how they meet a need. Write it down, take a picture, send it over to me. Also, don't forget to please send me a song recommendation down on the comment section of this so that I can start expanding my song listening library. All right. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your Monday, and we will see you guys tomorrow.